Page, Arizona. Wind and water have carved works of art in the desert. People all over the world are hitting the trails, and race promoters like Matt Gunn and his Grand Circle Trail Series are bringing them out to some of the most amazing places on Earth. Here in Page, Arizona, uh, we had a, a race today that uh, runs by a couple of the most photographed uh, areas in the in the world. Uh, they run through first Antelope Canyon, and then they uh, go across the desert and get out to Horseshoe Bend of the Colorado River, run along the rim there, a thousand foot cliff down to the Colorado River, run over to the Page Rim Trail, uh, and run around uh, this, the single track that goes around the city of Page and overlooking Lake Powell and, and uh, Glen Canyon. Gunn is celebrated for organizing the trail events, all which take place in unique and sacred destinations. Runners know they will be treated to an unforgettable experience. It's part of a series we started called the Grand Circle Trail Series, which is just a really unique uh, spot on the globe. This variety, this variation, these, these rock formations that you don't see anywhere else in the world, you know, and that's what draws people here. From the slot canyons we're running through today, you know, up, up to, you know, these 12,000 foot peaks. And nobody said it was easy. It's over half sand. I mean, it's, it's full on sand dune running most of the way. So it's, it's very challenging, even though it doesn't have a lot of elevation gain, uh, it still beats people up almost every bit as much. It's an acquired taste for a jog. Trail runners and ultra runners are a mixed bag of nuts. We've got people here that are dirt baggers living out of their truck, and we've got people that are CEOs of you know, multi-million dollar companies. We've got the whole range here, but everyone gets along and has a good time out here. Emily Peters Kagan runs to better herself, her muse, her friends, and family. I have some great people in my life who inspire me and motivate me. and. I also ran in honor of um, my brother who actually died a year and a half ago. Um, today was his birthday. She likes to push her limits. In Paige, she pushed to a first place win of the half marathon. You know what, I am going to push hard. I'm going to work hard today. I'm just going to work to give it my best. Like I'm not going to worry about what's behind me. I'm just going to worry about what's ahead of me. And um, just do my best, keep a smile on my face, and have an awesome time. And I did. And running isn't her only arena. I'm actually a professional MMA fighter. I, I'm a, one of the straw weights in the UFC, so I fight at 115 in the UFC. Another thing that I like to do is come out here and cross train the physical and the mental, really the mental. Like I said, you know, working through those inner demons, those voices that tell you to slow down, the voices that tell you you're not good enough or that get you too excited. You know, sometimes those things happen in fights as well. And so I really like getting into a new environment to gain new perspective so that I can really um, make, have greater success through some of those mental challenges. So cool. That's incredible in here. There are so many different trail runners out there. <laughs> it seems Emma Horton was born to run. My first race was a marathon. The woman's 55K winner said this was her second ultra run. I signed up for an ultra. I don't know why. I don't know why I did it. For her, trail running is about being in the moment. There's something really, really special about the connection that you have with a with place when you're trail running. It's, it's an amazing way to get beautiful places. It's just a different way to see the world. She said guns races are more than competition. <laughs> oh, you made me a little nervous. It's beautiful. I really love that his races aren't just about like, getting out and racing just just for the sake of yourself. They, they spend a lot of time and put a lot of effort into making it something that is about engaging with your community or the community that you're racing in. Guns races also embrace the indigenous culture of the Southwest. Runs begin with blessings and prayers from the Navajo. We have a medicine man that leads the evening prayer ceremony facing the, the west for the sunset. In the morning they do the, the morning prayer facing the east as the sun rises and we try to be respectful and, and uh, grateful for the opportunity to be out here. As trail running and long distance running experience an explosion, perhaps it's the new perspective that people are running for. And here in the desert, that perspective is everywhere.